Ready? Play. Fifteen left. Thirty left. Two young Americans, Kenan and Keyes. This is the battle of the case, and Madison, four years older than Sonia. Her name in, in the program is Sophia. Everyone calls her Sonia. 40 bucks. And she was out practicing ooh, a couple of hours ago, just outside of Ash, and she was practicing an awful lot of returns. Forty fifteen. Game keys. Well, strong start from Keys, who has so much confidence after winning the Cincinnati First title, team. the Western and Southern Open. And I'm just looking at who she beat on that run through. Muguruza, Hallett, Venus Williams, Sonia Kennan, who she plays tonight, and former US Open champion Svetlana Kuznetsova. Goodness me. When Madison gets hot, she is one of the best in the world. I know I saw that but earlier today because I was looking at Sophia who be next. Like, Kenna, oh, I mean, to, serve. to win a tournament is hard enough, but to get through that that list of players. Caliber. Yeah. If you haven't seen too much of uh, Sonia Kinnan, her parents, uh, Alexander, and her mother came to the United States from Moscow in the late 90s. They actually, for a while, were living in Brooklyn and Queens, so very familiar territory. Fat Lana was a nurse, and they actually, she actually went back to Moscow to give birth to Sonia. Stayed there for about seven months, needed understandably to support the family and friends, but then came back, and then pretty soon they moved to South Florida, Tennis Central. They now live uh, in Pembroke Pines, where she's homeschooled. Two years ago here, Jill, when she played Sharapova, she was still holding offers from American colleges. She's an A-grade student. Right. And it was a bit 50-50. I have to say, when I saw her, I thought, mm, I don't think she's a stick-on, going to shoot up the rankings. Yeah. I don't, I don't think a lot of people no. thought that, actually. She was good, but you could probably see her be top 100, but you thought, mm, is it really worth throwing away a college career? I think that's a tough decision 40, to make too when 50. you're so young because you know being ready to play on the professional tour versus you know maybe you want to mature a little bit more get a little bit more experience before you make that push but she had a great year that year um, when she played here so young so she decided to go pro obviously a great choice for her. Gets an awful lot out of her five foot seven one meter seventy frame. Game in Canada. One game on. First set. These two could not be more different in terms of personalities. Maddie, very kind of introverted, quite quite she started to come out of herself, very laid back, relaxed. Kennan, wow. 
a firecracker who never <laughs> backs down. Fifteen long. When I was watching her practice a little while ago, she was getting an awful lot of practice on this in this juice court. Maddie loves that wide serve, doesn't she? And she was pounding them down the line. 30, 15. I, I think what Madison does well is she's able to hit that hit her spots on oh. her serve extremely well. She loves that out wide, but the power she gets off her serve too, when she's able to flatten it out down the tee, it just shoots through the court. That's a perfect point for Madison Keys. 40, 15. Getting a little bit shorter ball off the return, and she's going to be looking to hit as many forehands as she can. Yeah, she hit 41 winners in her victory over Kennan in Cincinnati a couple of weeks ago. And she yeah. is Keys. flying here. This is a very good Madison Keys tonight, and we are on serve Keys, early stages of this one. opening set. First set. What do you think, Julie, that, you know, look at her year, fourth round in Australia, lost to Svitolina in three sets, then went very quiet for a while, then suddenly wins Charleston, then goes quiet, quarterfinal of Roland Garros, where she lost to Barty, there was, a, there was an opportunity for the taking there, wasn't there? Hot, cold, hot, cold. Well, I think that's her game style. I mean, she plays with just going after everything. And I think when you have a lot of those players that play so aggressively and don't hold back, if you're just a little bit off, you can start making a Isn't lot of just, on, unforced I'm not listening to you. I know you're not listening to me at it's all. It's just, a beautiful picture, I know. Just, just let me know if you want me to what <laughs> start a, what, a, what a place. I wasn't expecting that picture to come up, Jill. It was fascinating, but I was just <laughs> transfixed by they do have the most I don't glorious sunsets and sometimes I actually try and stand on that back rim of Ash just yeah. underneath where the roof is and you can stand and turn and look over Manhattan and see the see the sunset which actually is Time. key people are getting up and doing that. Sorry Julie, we'll carry on. No, no bit. problem. just starting to settle into this fifth night session here at the 2019 US Open. Fifteen months. You just get a sense the longer that these rallies go, I think it does favor Kennan just a little bit because Keyes is the type that might start to overhit just in that last point a little bit, just got a little bit anxious wanting to end the point. It's just great placement there Thank you, by Kennan. Didn't have a lot of pace on that last forehand, but just disguised it well, hit it right on the line. Ah! Took me through this 30, unusual start 15. to her serve, where she keeps her head down I for had the a longest feeling time. You were gonna ask me about that. I did. I can be rather <laughs> predictable. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. Good return there by Madison, there nice and deep. Yeah, I was talking to actually a couple of coaches about it because it is pretty unusual. She almost covers her face and she doesn't look up at the ball until the last second. But somehow she's figured out the timing. 
of that. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily say, I think she struggles a little bit on her second serve sometimes, but her first serve can, can be pretty good. Timing looks easy tonight for 30, Hughes. 40. Early chances for Madison. Game Hughes. Just the sound of the ball off the strings. It's going to be a hard night for, for Kenneth. Three minutes to one. Her She's got one of the hardest ground strokes off the ground there from Madison. Don't forget, you can uh, head off to our web website, usopen.org. And uh, if you like all your merchandise, well, that's the place you can go and check it all out. There's towels. The towels are very nice this year. Lots of T-shirts and caps. Worth a visit. Uh, this is something Ma Madison has improved that backhand, getting a little bit more spin on it. That was so effective to set up this last forehand. That's the serve that causes so many problems. That's the one she was out there hitting return and return on the practice court just a couple of hours ago. She's not making any impact in these key service games. So this is fast and furious. Just 12 minutes on the clock and already Madison Keys has opened up a healthy lead in this opening set. as a 14-year-old. That's when she made her pro debut at Pontevedra Beach. I was there in Pontevedra Beach when she came on the tour. <laughs> it was funny because I was there. My coach was working with both me and Lisa Raymond, and we were kind of uh, asked to go look at Madison Keys as a youngster. And at that time, I mean, she had so much power on her shot, but she had no control. So she was missing everything in the back fence. This is Madison Keys. This is Madison Keys, yeah. And she, but the power was just so easy coming off her racket. And we were like, oh my God, how is this girl going to learn how to control this ball? Because she just wanted to unleash on everything. And a little bit wild almost. Um, and then, so we were wondering like how that would develop. And she, then she was told like to add, start adding a little bit more spin. She was still wild for a little bit and still up and down for a little bit. But I think that's something that, cause she used to be coached by Lindsay Davenport a little bit too. And I know that was something that Lindsay had asked to and be really effective in, and get into her game is that more Time. spin just to get that more control. And it's obviously developed since then. Good knowledge. One four, first set. Oh. 
15 months. Her father Alexander was out there on the practice court with her as he as he always is. I was looking at some of their backstory and you know him and his wife when they came here they'd spent years trying to get exit visas from Russia. They came here to the States with less than three hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. That, wow. Yeah. He uh, studied computer programming. Wow, Maddie, fantastic. Yeah, that was so good. 15 on. In the middle of that point, I actually felt like Kenan was doing a little bit better job of opening the court. She's been going down the middle consistently quite a bit. So finally got Maddie on the move, but that was just an incredible oh, on the run forehand. She looks so relaxed tonight. Overall, good point. 15, Kenan 30. showing a little bit more variety, throwing in the slice, trying to drop shot here. That was a great dipper from Madison. And she was there on that volley, but she overran it a little bit and just didn't time it. Well, let's try and find a way into this match. This is all going very quickly. Thirty on. Too good. Such a good deep 30, return there 40. from Keys. Deuce. A good mix up on the serve there from Kennan. She's been serving quite a bit into Madison's backhand, so just a little bit more variety there going to the forehand. Spent many years coaching Monica Puig, but he's always sort of in base, doesn't he, with the USTA and in that Florida area. Can't move for coaches down there, can you? <laughs> Advantage. Kenan's Kenan. not going to get too despondent out here. In the last, well, three or four months, she's beaten Serena Williams and the crowd on Chetre Roland Garros. Ash Barty, a couple of wins over Svitolina, and uh, also taking out the world number one, Nomi Osaka, in Cincinnati as well. Recent form has been red hot. Miss Keys is jumping the call on the left center service line. The ball was called in. Second serve. Keys leads four games to two. First set. We mentioned Kennan trying to find a way in. That's one thing that is so good from her side of the court is she is going to compete until the very end. She's such a good competitor, fights for every point. Doesn't matter what the score is for her. She can't win. She's going to jump over the net and wrestle you to the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's a very different 24-year-old Madison to the teenager who made the semi-finals of the Australian Open back in 2015. Lots of pressure came with that run in Melbourne. 
Miss Kennan is challenging the call on the right center service line. The ball was called in. It's not been easy, is it, for Madison? So much expected of her from such a young age. I feel like she's handled it pretty well, though. I mean, 30 Miss Kennan has two challenges remaining. I mean, that's what's difficult for the youngsters, I think, is handling those expectations over and over again. But I, I think throughout her progress, I think she's done a pretty good job. Yeah, I, th I think she found that tough going post Australia, a little bit like Sloane Stevens. Right. They're both young teenagers. They made these great runs at a slam, and it almost got a little too much for a while, and they had to regroup. I was talking with some of the USTA staff the other day and they were saying that what they feel like about these youngsters coming up, the Americans in particular, is that they're so supportive of each other and they're so inspirational to each other and I think that helps to deal with those expectations. Game, I don't know if these two have got somewhere to go please. tonight, but this is flying along. Keys within one Keys game of taking this Five opening set. First set. Very interesting what you were saying about maybe a different approach from all the, the youngsters playing doubles. We see Coco Goff and uh, Katie McNally playing doubles. Coco was staying up and watching Katie's singles against Serena. Do you think that's the influence of Kathy Ronaldi, I think Fed Cup captain, who is the most vivacious, inclusive, warm human being on the planet. We can't say enough adjectives, no. positive adjectives about her, yeah. yeah she's standing just behind us, so yeah. <laughs> I think definitely, I think she's always, as, it, from, as far as I can remember since I ever met her, she's been like that, always trying to bring, bring the girls and the women together, yeah. trying to support each other. That's just her personality, and I think it's so crucial. And I think you see the impact of how many good Americans there are now on, on the women's side. And I think that has a lot to do with Kathy. And she's just, she makes it really fun for everybody too. And she always tries to make sure that the women are seeing the positive in each other and in themselves. Yeah, she said to me a while back, I'm Time. putting the F word back into tennis. <laughs> Fast start for the finalist here of two years ago. Kennan finds herself serving to stay in this opening set. Lovell, 15. And Key's just seeing the ball so well right now. Always strikes the ball very clean, but she is so keyed in right now. Well, we'll excuse the pun. <laughs> no more of those. Level 30. Such a determined character, one of the best juniors in the world a few years ago. A finalist here in the girls' event. A U.S. national junior champion comes in with a great pedigree into the pros. And it's been a very quick transition. How many shots do you feel you have to trade with Keats before you're likely to get an, an error? Mm, well, I mean, that's tough to say. I, I mean, I think the longest rally rallies have gone to Kendon, they've been right now probably about like five or six shots at the most. But she hits with such big pace. I mean, I mean, it's hard to sort of get, you see, like sort of get on top of the rally. I mean, you feel like you're defending right from the start, especially if you're not getting high for surf percentage.
40, and that 30. was a good example. A little bit of a longer rally. I felt like Kenan did a good job of redirecting that pace a little bit and just staying in that rally longer, and, and she got the unforced error from Keys. Yeah, I think if you give it four shots plus, you're in with a shout, aren't you? Yeah, yeah digging in here, Sonia Kenan. It's only the one break. It feels, leads five games it to feels three. an awful lot more. I love Percent. her. She's got such a jaunty walk, hasn't she? She's going somewhere. She's got things to do. So so quick in between points, yeah. too. I mean, I've watched her quite a bit now. And I feel like right away, as soon as the point's done, she's ready to go. We love that. Yeah. It's been a very fast set. He's looking to close. Keys. It was great footwork because she got pretty close to the net there and had to sort of get back quickly with her footwork. That was really good overhead. Left for serve. Thirty left. To six aces. Forty love. Seven. <laughs> Unplayable. And then just marches straight across her baseline, ready to face the first of three set points. Game and the first set, Keys. Full control for Madison Keys, and she Six takes the opener three. in the blink of an eye. 6 3, she wins it in less than half an hour. Crikey, what a set of tennis from Madison. I don't think even we thought it was going to be that good, just for three points behind her serve. I mean, it just is incredible. She served so well. She's those eight aces, the winners. 14, Kennan only with one winner, and this the first serves one, 89% for Keys. I mean, she's just played so well, so clean. I mean, she's had a few unforced errors, but that just shows you that she's been the one that's been more aggressive overall. Keys doing a really nice job. Simple, so, simple set of tennis for her. 6-3, she wins it.
second set. Cannon to serve. Is buzzing tonight. Start of the Labor Day weekend. Everyone's had the afternoon off. They know they haven't got to go to work for three days. It is a big holiday here in the States, and they're enjoying their tennis tonight. Kennan, start of the second set. Pennant to get off to a good start at the beginning of this second set. Took a little bit of a break after that first set, went off the court for a little bit just to regroup. Yes, not let's not pretend it was for a bathroom break. <laughs> well, that could have been part of it. A little bit better court position there from Kennan staying more up on the baseline. She's quick enough to react to the return coming back from the pace of Key. So it's better court position for her. She got pushed back in that first set a little bit too much. 40-15. Second set. It's been a really good day here at the USGA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Perfect weather conditions, a little breezy earlier on, a full day's play. Still lots going on on the outside courts, doubles all over the place, the odd singles as well. I feel like we just have one, we just have one continuous session here now, don't we? And you can you can sit on an outside court from 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. to 11 o'clock at night. It's extraordinary, but we're going to focus, as everyone else is, on Ash on this All-American clash. Kenny was never going to take this lying down. She, I was looking at her. She's only been on tour a few years, about four years, and she's halved her ranking. Every oh, season. I saw that. Yeah. Wow. I, know. Left. I think her goal at the big beginning of this year was to be in the top 20, and now she's 20. So she's got to make some new goals ahead of her. I mean, that was pretty quick for her to get there. 15 on. A little more difficult in the upcoming years to keep yeah. halving the ranking. But if you had asked me two years ago when she was out here night session playing Maria Sharapova, would she be top 20 in the world? Mm -hmm. You didn't see it? Not, no. a, not so quickly. Yeah. But, but she registered with me because of her attitude. Yeah. I think it's important for people to know how, 30, how crucial that is, that attitude and that work ethic and just that feistiness and never giving up on the court. And that's what I hear consistently over and over again with people when they talk about Kenan is she has all those factors and abilities, not only talent mm -hmm. and being able to hit, strike the ball well, but that feistiness goes a long way. Thirty on. 
Such an immaculate first set, wasn't it? Hard not to see some kind of drop off. Turn and Madison did a good job of getting up to that ball, but easy putaways there for Kennan. This did not look likely through the opening set. It's taken 35 minutes, but Kennan has her first break point. Yes. So far, the closest game here on Madison's serve. Kennan starting to get a Advantage. lot more returns Kennan. back and that's because she's looking to take the ball a little bit earlier. She's changed her return stance quite a bit more closer to the baseline and definitely on the second serve way inside the baseline. So that's putting pressure on key serve. This. Such good focus there from Madison. She sets up for that ball so well. Loads that back leg to get that extra pace. Again, Key's handling this overhead very well off her back foot and high reach, but she gets a lot of pace on it still. Miss Kennan is challenging the call on the right near sideline. The ball is called out. One game on, second set. Miss Kennan has two challenges remaining. Poor job of holding that service game, but Key's starting to serve notice. Watched by Dad Alexander. He said if he'd have known what all this tennis would have entailed, he would have never got into it. It's hilarious. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Uh, he hasn't worked out how most tennis players divert their children away from <laughs> most ex-pros divert their children away from uh, tennis it would be, any other sport is fine <laughs> that's true Uh, very well done here from Kennan. Good touch on that drop shot and good control on that low volley. Had to hit up on it, but was close enough to the net where she was able to get it past Keys right away.
40, 15. Do you think she's clicked that she just can't live in the trade with Madison? I think in the first set she couldn't, but I, I feel like she's doing a better job of opening the mm -hmm. court. But I, I just think it's a good variety against yep. Madison, there's, there's, there's with the more, way she plays. This yeah. is a more textured second set. <gasps> Game, Ken. We have a match here on Ash. Ken and Lee, two games to one, the second, second set. Keys first set has keys. taken the first. Keys has taken the first. Billie Jean King, USDA National Tennis Center in the borough of Queens. It takes about 45 minutes on the bus from Midtown, Manhattan, and one of the five boroughs here in New York City. time here on the Arthur Ashe. A couple of fans have had their seats upgraded. They're now in the, the lower tiers. That's what they do here at the US Open. Everyone settling down to watch this all-American clash. Winner of this match will certainly play a Ukrainian, it'll either be Switzerlina or the young teenager Yastremska. much better job again of taking that serve a lot earlier than she did in that first set. Fifteen thirty. Look at the speed gun. Came down like thunder. <laughs> Thirty on. And out of nowhere, all the momentum, everything seems to be going Kennan's way. Had a couple of chances to break keys in the previous game. He's got one more here now. Starting to build some pressure. Look at that court position. She could be in the service box at I this know. rate. <laughs> but she's not allowed to do so. been working so far in this second set though and even though she made that mistake she's trying not to let it get above her shoulders because keys does have a really good kick mm -hmm. serve it can bounce pretty high off the bounce At 
Van Inch Cannon. That doesn't look like a great tennis watcher, does he? <laughs> he looks, he looks uh, a little stressed. He looks beyond stressed. Second chance in this game in this game for Kennan. Advantage, Kennedy. And these double faults and the dropping of the first serve percentage from Keys is due to the fact that Kennan has applied that pressure a little bit more with her court position. shot there from Keys on that backhand. Went for the slice and just hit it. The slice coming up here, just hit it nice and short in the court. It's a rather un-Keys kind of play, isn't it? Normally power, more power is, yeah. is the default setting. This is such an important game for Keys, even though she looks well in control here. That's a smart serve from Advantage Madison. Keys. Hadn't made a lot of first serves, so it took a little bit more pace off that to make sure she got that first serve in. Game Three great points. And then went much tougher service Two games, games in the second for second Keys. Set. But she hangs on. And if you want to know what's going on throughout the rest of the US Open and what's happened today, just head to usopen.org. You can download the app and you can see some match highlights. There's some celebrity news. I can tell you Sean Connery in the president's box this evening. Very excited about that, I am. What's that? Sean Connery. Did yeah. you listen to anything I say? <laughs> yeah, you said that so fast, I didn't hear you. <laughs> I listen to everything you say, Sam. Sevens here. 007. He loves to go. He was here the year that Andy Murray won the US, his first US Open. His first and only US Open. Oh, a huge return Point there from 15. Madison Keys. Got down nice and low on that last backhand, just went through the court so fast. Yeah, she's made it. 
starting to run through these Kenning service leads. games now. Three games to it's two. It's a very tough second contest. Set. Kenning leading first the second Keyes. after Keyes has taken the first. Madison Keyes is a bit of big supporter of the campaign Fearlessly Girl, which is all about, it's an anti-bullying, anti-cyberbullying campaign specifically, because she's had a, a really tough time on, on social media. Do you think players are, are having uh, difficulties with managing social media these days? I like think that we never had, we didn't even know what it was. Yeah, I think so. I think it would be tough to, diff uh, to deal with. I mean, I'm, I'm actually glad we didn't have it while, while I was playing. Yeah, it's just an added dimension, isn't it? And it's interesting, you see a lot of the young players, the second, as they're walking off court, they get their phones, they're looking at their Instagram yeah. followers, and on the practice courts, they never stop checking it out, see how many likes they've got, it's, ex it's extraordinary, I can't even imagine. And I think it's tough, even if you're only putting pictures, like positive pictures of you, like if you want to match, or if you played well, it's, it's sort of unavoid unavoidable to see the negative stuff that yeah. people write in sometimes. Close to a full house right now as they settle down for this second set in this all-American clash, the third between the two. It was Kennan who won in three sets in Rome, but Keyes who won in Cincinnati a few weeks ago. Jilly. What's happening out here? Four double faults in a lot three service games. I, th I think I think what Kenan has been doing is, is affecting her. I think out of the she's gotten into Madison's head on the serve by how early she's taking that return. And when your opponent starts moving forward and, and gaining that court position, sometimes it's a good idea to go more body, try and jam them mm -hmm. because it, they're taking it so early. Good focus there 15, from Madison 30. on that point. Started getting a little bit worried if she was going to try and force a little bit, try and end the point sooner, but that was good rallying, good quality from both players. point there for Madison. I think also in that first set, Madison got so many free points off her serve like very easily, and now that's not happening as much. So that just applies a little bit more pressure to the server as well. Opportunities just keep piling up for Sonia Kennan. It's going to be okay, Dad. Keeps rocking back and forth. No. So nervous. This. Her formative years were spent under the tutelage of Rick Macy in about five 
So she was just into her teens, very famous coach in South Florida. Actually, I was surprised Kenan didn't try and the drop there. Keys. She's been trying to throw in that drop shot a little bit, and Keys was so far behind the baseline. I think that would have been a better option than to try and go deep with that shot. opportunities in this second set and the key serve have come and gone. Three games on. Really second set. Kinnan, I feel she should have had this second set by now. because she does take that ball so early and she's able to whip it at the last second cross here here just goes behind keys it's a great play out it was interesting this piece is challenging One the, of the ball things on the left Rick baseline Rick Macy said the ball was called out Sonia, and you know, don't forget he's worked with Capriati, the Williams sisters, Sloan Stevens for many years. He said her hand eye coordination was exceptional. I'm pretty sure this is going to be long. Yeah. And he said the last player that he'd seen hand eye as good as uh, before he saw Kenan was Martina Hingis. He's, that she is a phenomenal in that part of her game. Not bad to be compared to her. <laughs> be happy with that. He also said <laughs> she, was, she was the scariest kid he'd ever seen because she was just so feisty. <laughs> She's always had it in there. Yeah. He said I'd take that as a compliment. Yeah. A backward step. New balls, please. Kenan pushing ahead once more in the Kenan second set. Kingslow has taken the second first. Set. First set, Keys. Let's just try and have a little listen in here. Trainer came out a little earlier to give Maddie some painkillers. Been unlucky over the years, doesn't she? With injuries, it always used to have a nasty groin adductor problem yeah. that plagued it. Lindsay Dapple is just your drive, Lindsay Mack, that has a, had a couple of wrist surgeries on that left wrist that was a few years ago. It was interesting, I was just thinking a couple games ago when they were showing Madison's oh, oh, she's her not, blood pressure, she's not feeling well. Yeah. Yeah, her coach looked a little bit worried, actually, okay. when they showed him in the box a couple games ago, I thought. Taking her temperature and now her blood pressure. We have never known it from the first set, the way she came out in that first set, just playing so well.
while discussions continue. It's not what you want, is it? Third round of your home slam, you're feeling crook. I think she's trying to manage it from the beginning, too. I mean, she, as you mentioned, had the trainer come out a little bit earlier, trying to get on top of the fact that she started maybe not feeling well. And you can see just her movement also in those last couple games, not as sharp. Also noticed that she's been sweating up a lot, and that's yeah. always a sign that your body isn't right, and it's trying to cool, you know, it's trying yeah. to cool you down. next to her that's a nice bucket in there you can press a button and you can get a blast of cool air yeah. sounds wonderful could do with one of those in my patio in the summer <laughs> the players are loving it it's a new addition this year and got a lot of positive feedback from the players coach Sodero and fitness trainer Rodney Marshall not looking terribly relaxed right now but we are on serve in this second set. Also, if you're not necessarily feeling 100%, you want to try and keep these points as, as short as possible. Not easy for Kennan, who knows there's something up down the other end. Yeah. Call from Gregory in Miss the chair. Miss is challenging the call on the left baseline. Must the ball have called seen out. a clear mistake. So far, the officiating's been really good. The pair of them are 0 for 4 on chase reviews. Good umpiring. Yeah, good eye. Very good umpiring. 30-15. Miss Kennan has one challenge remaining. The way that Keys is just trying to take her time in between points, taking a lot of deep breaths, managing herself well for having a little bit of an issue right now, not feeling 100%. Just kind of like the attitude that 
Kennan is bringing, talked about how well she competes and how well she fights for every point. And she's just trying to stay within herself, not focus on what's happening on the other side of the court. I love the way she G's herself up in Russian. Davai, come on. <laughs> Must be extraordinary for Dad Alexander to sit here, you know, 20 years on from when they first arrived with King in, in Queens with nothing in their yeah. pockets. And his daughter's a multi millionaire tennis player. <laughs> Amazing. He was studying by day, working for a car service at night. They just had nothing in terms of anything materially, anyway. 30 on. Her first double since the her last service game in the first set. This. That double coming, I think, a lot to do with the previous point where Keys just really went after that return, trying to go for outright winner and didn't miss it by much. That's a little bit of pressure on the Kennan serve. It's her closest service game in this second set. Kenan. It's interesting watching Kennan out here to earlier in the year or even 12 months ago. She still has a great attitude. She's still, you know, front foot forward, but she's just toned it down a fraction, hasn't she? Yeah. Never really want to make Kenan. enemies on the tour. Not the most convincing hold, but Kennan getting Kenan it done and she pushes ahead four. once more in this second, second set. 5 4 set the 20 year old leads. There is nowhere anyone would rather be than the Ashes Stadium. Almost 23,000 in here tonight. Start of this Labor Day weekend. They really are, you know, they, they've topped up on the beers, haven't they? You can tell that everyone's having such a good time. It doesn't matter what's happening on the court. Time. Can the finalists from two years ago do here? Looked a little poorly a couple of changeovers ago, serving now to stay in the second set. Fifteen, 
I guess there is the impetus to try and get out of this in two if she's feeling as as crook as she looked yeah, at the definitely. change of ends. Thirty long. Forty long. Let's first serve. Good mix up from Kennan. We've seen her incorporate that drop shot in this second set and been effective almost every time. Oh, she just yeah. takes the yeah. racket out of Kennan's hand. A couple of easier service games for Keys as she levels up once Five more. Games all. Second set. I felt like she actually looked a little bit better in that game, moving a little bit better. I don't know if the, she took some medicine, a couple of changeovers before, just to help her a little bit as she wasn't feeling 100%. I almost feel like maybe it started to kick in a little bit because I felt like that game was a little bit better as far as movement and running around the court. Yeah, she had to, took something, didn't she, at the end of the first set. And, uh, Kenny went off for a bathroom break. I like what you said though earlier on in this set, Jilly, about the distribution from Ken, the way she's just getting the ball so much more off the court. Yeah. You can see Key's doing a lot more running in this set. I think also Keyes is serving a little bit better. I mean, she's up to her first serve percentage, but you're right, I think in the beginning, mm -hmm. We talked about how she was just going down the center of the court, and that's not a bad place sometimes, but she was doing it way too often in that mm -hmm. first set, and she's definitely spread the court a little bit better in the second. Was an opportunity for Key. She had a good look at that return. Just couldn't get it out of the way enough, but that was a good opportunity to possibly get a couple break points. But Kennan served just deep enough, jammed Keys a little bit. This drop shot just a little bit too deep. Keys plenty of time to move up to that. Chance to get the break here for Keys. Where does Kennan go? <laughs> Gotta be quick. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's a yeah. real shame. Yeah. She did so well to turn this match at the start of the second set. Keys the Keys now will serve for five, place for set. another berth in and the fourth second. round here at the US Open. Just looking at her last four appearances here back in 2015, lost to Serena Williams in the fourth round. A year later, Caroline Wozniacki. 2017, the All-American final with Sloan, were disappointing, and then last year, semi-finals to Osaka. It takes a good player in recent years, a great player, to take out Madison Keys here. Yeah, it's just hard sometimes when she's playing this well, when she's on fire from the ground, it's hard to see an opening. You always feel like you're on your back foot with how much power and patience hits off the ground. The courts, I'm told, and very good information are definitely fractionally quicker yes. this year. It's a medium court, but it's nudging up. Is that gonna help her? Definitely. Okay. Like, yeah. Two very different sets of tennis from Madison Keys. And the former finalists close right here. Level 15. here to start this game from Madison. Decelerated on that first forehand and then really not going up after that second serve. Oh, great aggressiveness there from Kennan to give her a couple break points. Don't forget, she had all those break points, started the second set, six in all, couldn't convert. I can understand the frustration from Kennan. That line was wide open. But once again, Jilly, he's just slotting in a first serve, yeah. break point down. Yeah. So often she has done that in the second set when under threat. Yeah. Still facing another situation right here. That's ah! why. Going in the Deuce. kick serve as a first serve. Yeah, if she does come off the wrong end of it, there will be an inquisition as to all the opportunities that were not taken in the second set.
advantage, Keys. She has dragged herself through this second set. Match point for Madison. And that's it. Game set and match Keys keys. locks out Kinnan Two in the battle of love. the young Americans. 6-3, 7-5. An hour and 20 minutes, it looked straightforward, but it certainly wasn't. 6 3, 7 5, it's keys through once more to the second week. An incredible effort.